Welcome to this Pharos Expert training video. This video will take you through the steps of unboxing an expert control and getting up to the point where you'll be able to start programming your project file. Expert control ships in fully recyclable packaging. Once opened, please consult the latest information for your hardware included in the box, paying specific attention to the quick start guide for information about ports on the controller. If you haven't already, now is a good time to install the expert software, available for free from pharoscontrols.com. You'll notice a unique QR code on both the box and the controller. Scan this QR code to view information specific to your unit, as well as links to the latest documentation and technical support. Expert control can be powered by either DC voltage or using power over ethernet. For simplicity, this video will use a controller powered using power over ethernet from a PoE switch, which also has our computer connected to it. In this case, there are no other connected devices. Expert control could be on a variety of network setups, but the fundamentals of what we do when connected to expert control remain the same. For this setup, we'll need to give our machine a static IP address. The process of doing this is different on macOS and Windows, but the overall goal is the same. For macOS, open system settings and choose network. Select your active network adapter. Click details and choose TCP IP. Change your IPv4 setting to manually and input these settings. Click OK and your machine now has a static IP address. For Windows, open the Settings app and choose Network and Internet. Click Properties and find IP Assignment. Click Edit and choose Manual. Turn on IPv4 and input these settings. Click Save and your machine now has a static IP address. Now we've got our system powered and network configured, we can open the Expert software. With Expert now open, we'll choose to create a new project. Whenever you start a new project, the new project helper will guide you through the basic project file setup and controller configuration so that you're ready to program your project file. All of the settings in this helper can be adjusted later. The first step is to fill in some details about the project. All of the fields here are optional, but may assist with future project changes. Next up is fixture selection, where you specify the fixture type you're using in a project. Expert remembers which fixtures have been used on your computer already. These can always be adjusted later. After that, set up the basics of your canvas and add an optional background image. Click and drag on the background image and enter a corresponding real-world measurement to set the scale. Background images can be cropped and multiple images can be added if required. The core of Expert's control solution is based around tags. This helper step gives you the choice to add some tags based on the project's behavior requirements. If you'd prefer not to use tags in the project, just click Next to continue. Next, we need to set a location for the project. This is required when using astronomical time events like sunrise and sunset in tags and schedule. Choose a city from the list or enter a custom location. It's also possible to manually specify a time zone here. Finally, we come to the device step. This is probably the most important step as it allows a controller on the network to be set up and ready for a project file to be uploaded. Out of the box, Expert Control's security is uninitialized and needs to be configured. You can continue without enabling security, but we recommend enabling security and creating a username and password for the controller. Additional users with different permission levels can be added later. Next, we need to configure Expert Control's network settings. Out of the box, Expert Control is set to DHCP. In our example, we're configuring a static IP. Enter the credentials you just set up and then provide your desired network settings and click commit to apply your changes. If the controller's firmware didn't match your version of Expert software, you'll be prompted to update the firmware here. Click create project. Head to the network tab in the tools menu to see your controller online and connected. With the controller selected, we can explore how to adjust some of the controller settings in the property editor. Clicking Beacon will flash the LEDs on Expert Control for easy identification, and clicking Reload Firmware will upload firmware to Expert Control. The red text here indicates that we haven't uploaded a project to the controller yet. This is expected with a new project. While it's possible to have multiple controllers connected to the same network, each Expert project connects to exactly one controller. In this case, we've chosen the single controller on our network already. 
If you have multiple controllers on your network, you can select which controller to associate with your project here. Clicking the cog icon opens the controller configuration helper. From here, it's possible to adjust the controller's clock settings and format the controller's storage. This is also where you can set up additional users with different access rights. Now that expert control is set up, we'll quickly add an expert touch to our project by clicking add items and selecting the divide device. The configuration options in this helper are covered in detail in the video Software Introduction Part 2 in this series. For this video, we will accept the default settings. Each expert touch added to a project needs to be assigned to a physical device on your network. With your expert touch selected in the Network tab of the Tools menu, navigate to the Property Editor and click to select one of the devices on your network. Click Configure Device in the Property Editor to access configuration options for expert touch. From here, it's possible to adjust the device's network settings and configure options for device orientation and screen brightness. Note that Expert Touch doesn't need security setup as it communicates only with Expert Control. If required, the firmware on Expert Touch can be reloaded from the property editor by clicking Reload Firmware. That's it! Our project file is set up and we've configured our devices. We can now start to program our project file. See our software introduction videos for more assistance with this.